Yes! Yes! Content. One, two, three, four. Let me hear you scream. If you want some more. Ah! Yep. <laughs> We're back at it again. With the tenants. I realized that in the tenants, I never got to the part where you get a tenant. <laughs> So I thought, we better at least do one more part. So we're back at it again. And if you missed the first part, we're on our way to becoming a landlording success as the Pro Rancher. The Pro Rancher's backstory is that he somehow already owns at least one apartment and he's going to try and rent it out to somebody. But unfortunately, the government, the government says that your apartments, your properties have to have electricity and stuff to be legal to rent them out forcing the pro rancher to take on a job as an extremely overpaid decorator <laughs> to make enough money to buy a, a gas boiler for his shitty apartment that he just has somehow. I guess he has at least two apartments because he also lives somewhere and then got given this other apartment so that he can rent it out. So it's that if you're wondering like how to get started on the property ladder and you missed the first part and you, you missed like the most important stage, it's just have an apartment, have two apartments. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. And if, if we're to speculate what the very first stage is, go out in the street, uh, hold your hat out, <laughs> and you and wait until you have enough money to buy <laughs> two apartments. Okay, okay. It's something like that. <laughs> Come on. The money in the hat. <laughs> we're gonna have to play some really filthy trombone <laughs> if we're gonna get enough money to buy two apartments. <laughs> oh. You wanna know why on the streets of this slum they call me the Big Cheeks Filthy Blower? <laughs> Best trombone player you've ever seen. And so, so the backstory of the Pro Rancher <laughs> is that he was a professional trombone player, and that's how he came into his money, okay? Okay? By the way, what do you do in this game? <laughs> I, I have once again forgot. I've, oh, I've, got the, I've already got the money. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, put the, put the trombone away. <laughs> I just realized I have $8,000 underneath my hat. I am no longer required to be the filthy big cheeks big cheeks blower and so on and so forth and my voice has changed to match. The only problem is that while it wants me to go and set up heating in that apartment I own, I don't know where it is. <laughs> like literally where is it? <laughs> no, come on guys, come on guys, let's, let's not mess about anymore. Where, where is that apartment that I own? <laughs> You see, it's so hard being a landlord. It's so fucking hard. You have to remember the properties you own. I don't know where it is. There's, there's money flowing down from under my top hat. I'm using it to wipe my brow at the stress of trying to remember. Where is that property I'm supposed to be making legal for the proles to inhabit? It was on Boring Street, if I recall. A boring Lane, it actually says here. Can we zoom in and see the road signs? Wait, it's right here! I zoomed in on it out of sh pure instinct! <laughs> Guys, I'm so good at the tenants. This is it, right? I mean, it looks pretty shitty. So yeah, that, that's how I remembered it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And by we, I mean somebody else. Somebody else is doing it. <laughs> somebody else is doing it. And we're attached to the ceiling. You keep it up down there, my man. Do you want me to play virtual insanity on this trombone <laughs> while you work? <laughs> oh, he's done. Oh. <laughs> Oi, you don't, you don't put any money in the hat. You made $2,000 for that performance, mate. <laughs> per month. Yes, now we're getting into this. Now all you have to do is finish the renovation. <laughs> you, know, you, know, just, you know, draw the eye, draw the legs, and then draw the rest of the fucking owl. Uh, is there a button that says, can you also sort everything else out for me, please? Uh, no, please, <laughs> please, finish renovation. I can click on begin renovation, which is very much the opposite of what it's suggesting. But I, I can't begin cleaning without the utilities in place. Can't rent without heaters installed. Let's go back to the heating thing. Configuration required. Oh, I have to decide where the radiators are. Okay. Was it, was that? I can hear somebody else playing the trombone outside. 
<laughs> that workman came back because he wants to join my band. He's like, oh, what? you know virtual insanity? <laughs> no, no, my working days are behind me. I'm no longer a working girl <laughs> walking the streets as the filthy big cheats blur and, <laughs> and such and such. I'll pass my legacy on to you. Here, blow into this hole, and then you shall become the filthy big cheeks blower, my good man. Somehow, I didn't pay for the heating, by the way. <laughs> that guy. I'm paying you in performances of virtual insanity on this invisible trombone. And that's the most you'll get from me. <laughs> if you don't like that, form a union, you fucking pro. <laughs> Excuse me. We have to put the heating in. Uh, how do I do that? Floor pipe. Uh, yeah, but let's throw in a pipe. Okay, good. <laughs> ah, you said this apartment has no utilities. What's that on the floor? See, there's a bit of plastic piping on the floor in there. You could, you could do all sorts of things with a bit of plastic piping, let me tell you. <laughs> and let me show you why it became the filthy big cheeks blower and so on and so forth. Oh, it's over here. Bedroom. Wrong room type bed. It needs a toilet and a bed. There's only one problem, once again. I can't- I can't click on it. How- how do you change? I don't- I don't believe that in the tenants I keep failing. You know the drill. I know the drill. <laughs> Begin cleaning. See, I, I got stuck in that menu for so long until I found out That's you just right. had to get the slave in to, to clean some stuff up nice before we put the toilets in and things. Everywhere. I like Let's this advice, <laughs> where he's saying don't give unique items to some fool's run-down studio apartment. The pros don't deserve unique items. Everything a pro sees must always be something they've already seen before, otherwise they'll get too confused and they'll fly into a rage. So I can salvage the foosball table. I've decided you guys aren't gonna get the table. That's more like it. That frees up space for a bed, realistically. So yeah, you don't get that. Do you get the filthy sofa? Almost as filthy as my tromboning. There's a 74% chance that this man will somehow... Or oh, <laughs> he slammed his head into it and started licking it right off the sofa. It looks like we failed. <laughs> oh, it wants me to demolish the inner walls now as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought this this room has too much room vibe. There's too many walls in it. Can we get rid of some of the, the walls? There we go. Look, we want to make sure you can always see the toilet. Like from everywhere in the property, you can see the toilet. That's ideal. Now, apparently, this is enough. Apparently, this is enough. It just has to have a bed, a toilet, a fridge, which I think is what that is. That's a microwave that you can't use. And a seat. And it's got, <laughs> it's got a seat. Isn't the toilet a seat? Come on, <laughs> this 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 thing counts as a bed. So now what? I was complaining because there's no. It's like oh, there's no heater in the room, like in this side, because the heater's on this side. Do you think this, <laughs> whatever this is, these prison bars are actually gonna <laughs> keep the heat only in this side of the room? I'll put a heater in, but I'm gonna put it there. I can't put it there. Oh, well, that's interesting. Here. There we go. Zero percent, <laughs> as it was saying. Because I want them to be really cold on the toilet. And I, I tried to set up this window right by the toilet as well. But the windows are kind of tinted. You actually can't see through the windows. I think what we've done is we've quite skillfully painted a window on. And by the looks of things, there are spikes. Yeah, there are spikes on the window as well. Nice aesthetic. Now this is a nice house. I think we'll all agree. It's worth a hundred thousand dollars, this setup. You gotta pay big money for this new luxury apartment. It's got over 12 squares of size across two thrilling rooms on zero floors. <laughs> oh, yeah, pr pretty good, pretty good. Uh, oh, technically guys, you're not allowed to touch the floor because that's not part of the property. So if you could just use the bars I've <laughs> welded to the ceiling and monkey bar around, if you touch the floor, that will be trespassing and you will be arrested. <laughs> it belongs to somebody else. Okay, thanks guys, thanks guys. Open house. So we can invite people to come and check out the house. But, wait, five days free? What do you mean five? You can't stay in here for five days for free. Oh, it's how many days we'll, we'll let people <laughs> come and look at it. For the next five days, anybody like can come and check out this apartment. Boom. How exciting. Look at this tenor. Ooh, microwave, they say, <laughs> noting that the door can't be opened. Huh? They are not happy with that microwave setup. Do they leave if, if you just let them go? 
Taking a look at the toilet, let's see how they, how they react to the toilet. Not a very positive reaction to the toilet. <laughs> um, well, you've seen it all now. You've seen the microwave. You've seen the toilet. I don't know where you think you're going. Oh, take a quick look at this chair. Now that chair is going to change your mind. No? Okay. Uh, let's negotiate. <laughs> Background check. This person's way too dodgy. Making 80 grand as a quote-unquote fast food worker. Oh, that's seriously dodgy. Apartment score good, though. She absolutely fucking loves the air mattress in the corner. All right, now negotiate. She just saw something she really liked. It's time to start negotiating. Terms of the lease. You'll want to stay for a long time, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot we don't know about long periods of time. You have to unlock that on your phone for some reason. So, anyway, apartment score kind of a weird emoji. She didn't say anything to me, but <laughs> she made a certain face that made me think I should charge her $2,000 a month. $2,000 a month for this absolute pile of shit. And what's this? Total income. There's a $2,000 subsidy. The fucking government's subsidizing landlords. They're not even subsidizing the tenants. You're gonna pay me to let somebody else pay me? What kind of arrangement is this precisely? I'm not sure. Somehow, this negotiation went absolutely amazing. So, oh, we can we can slide the bar. Oh, did I say 2,000? I meant 4,000. So, do I have to sort of pick a number that I think they will accept? So that it's unprofitable if you go there. So let's just go straight, flat bang, slap bang in the middle. Ah, oh, in the middle. I will offer you this property at a mere $2,004,000. I can't say it. it. The price is so high that I can't bear to say it. Okay, two thousand four thousand dollars. <laughs> I think I just take it and leave it. So that's my position. She's thinking nine sixty. Uh, what if I if I actually let you have this place for nine sixty? I would make twenty one dollars a month, which means I only get three thousand dollars a month in total after government subsidies, and that's not acceptable. Look, I can go as low. As 2390. What do you think about that? Do they just walk away? She went up significantly. Woo! It's working. <laughs> it's working. Okay. 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 I, I'm, I'm gonna milk. I gotta milk. I gotta milk them. I gotta milk them. Okay. I can't let them walk away because they're really dumb. Uh, I I will give you this for two thousand dollars a month. That's what I was thinking originally. To be honest, two thousand dollars a month. How about that? I move real close to your position. I will actually come all the way down to 1940 because that means my profit is lul. How about that? I've come pretty close to your offer now. Yeah, is that it? That's it? I think we've done it. We have the tenant. <laughs> it worked. It lured in as well. We have tricked somebody into living here. And we now know about wheelchairs. We know about bread. They will pay $2,000 a month for the app. Absolute luxury of this. Now the elite contract. My God, you're good. You're being promoted to the highest elites of landlording. You didn't do any fucking work. You somehow gained $2,000 a month in somebody else's income and $2,000 a month in government income. All you did was pay somebody else to blow up an air bed and throw it into what appears to be a large prison cell. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not down for something extra spicy. So I guess now we have to do the babysitting part of the job. There's no internet, no monitor. Oh, we, I, I forgot to install the fucking cameras. <laughs> What's the point of being a landlord? Uh, home share license. What does that even mean? You need to unlock rooms. Okay, we don't know about that. She walked off and left her heart behind. Should I click on that? Does she, does, does she fall in love with me instantly? Is that is that why she's willing to pay $2,000? What's that? Oh, there's huge cockroaches <laughs> running around. Wait, what? What? They're multiplying rapidly. What's this thing over here? Oh, it's just saying that they've gone to work at a fast food place. Okay, right. There's, there's no source of food here. How are so many cockroaches in here? <laughs> like, let's see if she does anything about them. They're huge as well. Right, she's calling. Is she going to call me? 
Oh my god, she's calling me about this shit. You're telling <laughs> She doesn't know I'm stuck to the ceiling. You don't have to phone, just say something. Like, I knew about this long before you did, I just chose not to act. Like, something happened. Check my text to see the details, right? Open the thing. Hey, you! <laughs> Believe it or not, what? I'm awfully glad we've been connected by a housing agreement. That's flirting. That's really forward, Cindy. We have connect- I, I'm convinced that we've got a relationship going with my tenant, and this is perfectly ethical. Right, there's a bunch of roaches roaming around. Can you some assistance, boss? What? No, no, you pay me. I'm, I'm not the boss of you. Uh, I'll send my <laughs> uncle. <laughs> oh, you're asking me to do something for the money you give me. What if somebody else did it? I'll send my uncle. What was this? Who's that? Who was that? Oh, I see. There's no food source, so she's ordering in food. Or was it drink? I gave you a drink. You can't really, you can't quite tell. There's actually a bottle of whiskey at the toilet. This is so efficient because you can you just switch seat to seat. Eating, toilet, eating, toilet. There's the love heart again. I think I think they like you the more the more you look at them. There's another one there. She's dropping her heart all over. Okay, I'm sending my uncle in to deal with the roaches. Press Z to spray. There we go. We're just gonna do the old manual, no mask fumigation. Looks like there's still some more. Keep spraying. We're sort of walk over here, keep it going. So yeah, it's all perfectly safe. I would say open a window, but they're just painted on, my love. L and there's the landlord points flowing in because of how well we did. Uh, it, it's a currency in this world. It's actually a legitimate currency, landlord points. <laughs> the landlording is so closely integrated with like general public society right now. They'll The government will pay you no matter what you do, and they'll pay you in a secondary currency, which appears to be top hats. And <laughs> you get landlord points for using Uncle Steve to help tenants. Yes, good landlording. I got somebody else to deal with my problems and to deal with somebody else's problems that I caused. So now the game is asking me to get a reputation to prove I'm a reliable agent. <laughs> Once again, the state is trying to hire me for my agency skills. We need a man who's really good with the trombone, <laughs> don't you know? I heard a rumor that you go by the code name Filthy Big Cheeks Blower. Yeah, that'll be me. That'll be me. Got some cockroaches you need fumigating. <laughs> Got some people you need watching on the shit. She loves it. She fucking loves it. And what's that? There's something new in the apartment. She put something on the floor. Uh, 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 excuse me, Prol. You're not. You're not permitted to have personal possessions. It's a. It's a pile of money. Holy fucking shit. She's just throwing piles of money on the floor. <laughs> I love you, Cindy. <laughs> you really are. Like, Cindy is the best tenant a landlord could ask for. She has no standards and she has loads of money. She's eating an apple from the toilet bowl <laughs> and she's loving life. She's happy. 99. I'm going to presume that's out of 100, baby. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is you, Prol Rancher. That would make my life perfect. <laughs> What's she doing? Appears to be clicking a remote control at the window. Oh, she's put VR goggles on. <laughs> you thought you could escape this reality with VR goggles. Good luck. I'm pretty sure we didn't actually ever put in those electrical outlets. I don't see any, that's for sure. So, you know, it's all going well. I see we've got unpaid bills piling up. What? Oh, I pay their bills? I did see this, yeah, when I was in university, you could get tenancy agreements where the landlord pays the bills. But so, so, so that means I'm not getting the $4,000 a month or whatever it was. So rent, what is happening here? I get $2,000 a month on top of the $2,000 a month. Balance, $3,000 a month, because I'm spending 1000 a month on shit. Oh, the tenant forgot to pay rent. They, they owe me $485. And we, we have to remind politely, you owe me $485. Now you owe me $500. I'm increasing your rent by $1,000 a month. I love you, Pro Rancher. And that's really what happened. So I think things are going well. 
yeah, we're making three grand a month. And I mean, the game's suggesting I'm supposed to go out and do something, but like time is passing. And now I make money just from the time. So I don't, I don't have to do anything. Right? I, I've won. This is it. I'm a landlord. I, I'm just, I'm just acquiring money every now and again. I'll ask somebody else to deal with any problems that come up as a result of getting that money. And I'll just be the one who gets the money. That would be my main job. I'm so rich, I can afford to go back to busking. What's this? Oh, someone broke in. <laughs> okay, good. The second I wasn't there looking, some, someone broke in. I better stay inside. Uh, someone broke in. I can spend $1,500 on a quote-unquote monitoring system. An absolutely ideal excuse to set up cameras in Cindy's house. Absolutely right. Well, here's my quote-unquote monitoring system. Yes, yes. Maybe now I'll feel safe here. You're gonna feel so safe. Oh, they stole the fridge and the microwave. No. And they, they stole the chair in front of the toilet. No! <laughs> they- what a weird break-in. They didn't take the pile of loose, like, stacks of fucking dollar bills. There's like two G's just on the floor in gigantic novelty money. So, do I have to come back in and like, yeah, put- put the stuff back in now? Okay, I will buy you another chair out of generosity. I feel like I- I owe you this much because you're gonna pay me two thousand dollars to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> As an extra special sign of my love, I've left a little present for you <laughs> in the bathroom. I, and you wanted a fridge. Okay, we'll just give you the compact fridge. Oh my god. I, I just sent you the money for this period. And I threw in some extra since you're so cool, love heart. It says, it also says that I haven't installed the fridge. Isn't that the fridge? Okay, begin renovation. What? What is a fridge? Again, I'm just the best landlord. Well... I thought they were gonna fucking kiss. Begin renovation. No, it's just not that easy. It's not. I. 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 Not only have I forgotten what a fridge is, I've forgotten how to find out what a fridge is. Is it because my phone's open? Right. Put the phone away. Put the phone down. Begin. Okay. Close everything. Scroll out. Click. Click. Click all over the cr place crazily. Uh, beg. Beg for mercy. How? There. There actually is a fridge there. I literally can't. I just can't. Where's the UI? Where's the UI these days? Those fucking... That B&E! They took the UI! <laughs> Cindy, isn't that a fridge? She's back at again on the fucking VR. Cindy, get that VR helmet off and let me show you this fridge. Look, I'm si she, she really thinks she doesn't have a fridge. And I'm like kind of stuck in this menu because I'm supposed to do something about it, but, but the UI is not here and... I'm gonna start mashing the key. I, I don't know. I can't scroll back out to the city map. I can't select any of the things that used to be down here. And she ignored the bread I left on the floor. I mean, it's all gone wrong. Time is still passing, so I guess I'll still make money, but I'm, I'm literally soft-locked in the tenants. I can't get out of here. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, allow me to take a seat and explain the problem. I can't configure the cameras I put in your in your house or give you a fridge because I I just don't know. So I'm going to try reloading the game to see if it fixes the UI <laughs> and stuff. Yes! I've made huge amounts of progress. It was the chair. The chair was blocking the electricity supply. Okay, we'll put the chair by the bread. Oh, <laughs> now it's complaining. There's no way I can sit on this chair. <laughs> it's completely obstructed, landlord. Don't worry. I'll save you, darling. Oh, you're my hero. Finally, I can sit on my chair again. We have solved everything. Tighten it up. <laughs> That's the objective. Here we go. Monitoring. Configuration. Required. Install security camera. Oh, they're huge, right? Well, it has to cover at least 75%. One camera over the toilet. Uh, obvious, obviously, that's where we're going to start off. We'll throw one back here as well, covering the bed and the money. We're going to have to put more in. It has to cover at least 75%. These, these cameras have really short range. Can we Can we have better cameras? You can only get one shitty camera. Okay, well, oh, the microwave is back. You, Cindy... You told me they stole your microwave. <laughs> they, they somehow, the burglars, pulled the fridge out from under the microwave, and the microwave's just still there. 
It's just fucking still there. Okay, whatever. We there's some ghost shit happening at this end of the room, so we've got to put in some more cameras. <laughs> We're at eighty-two percent. Might as well just throw this up to a hundred percent. Let's throw one there. One there, and we'll have this place on lockdown. Oh, fucking uncle, can't remember, like, to queue up actions. All right, put a camera there. Uncle, I need you to put cameras in my girlfriend's apartment. Uncle, hurry up, I need more cameras. 99%. There's somewhere in this apartment that she can be. Oh, it's here, isn't it? That's where she can be without me seeing her. We'll just quickly throw that in there. <laughs> there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Dying. Perfect. Okay, good. Right, solve that problem, and... Right, can we just go? That's it. Uncle, you leave. Now I've got my little setup going. Out. Off you go. Success. She probably loves me even more. Oh, she changed into a work uniform. Nice. She's level two. <laughs> She's a level two human being living <laughs> in my apartment. Although she moved. She's actually only one week away from leaving. I hope we can extend the lease. Following camera. There we go. <laughs> we've got we've got the camera set up and we've we've got a small camera drone that will also walk around. What's this? Claim. Holy shit. I'm sorry, Cindy. I'm claiming you. Oh, what's this? You sent me a text. Oh, and she's sending me more money just to be because I'm so cool again. I'm just click on claim here. Cindy Arch <laughs> leveled up to two. You've unlocked a new tenant level, and she gave me a hundred bucks. All right, I walked in and claimed my hundred of Cindy. You know why you owe me, Cindy. Oh, ooh, she can use this microwave, just about. Your hands are huge, Cindy. How many fingers do you have, by the way? Is it, is it like two? <laughs> What's going on? Cindy! <laughs> you fascinate me, Cindy. It's snowing. It's snowing. Exclusively over there. <laughs> don't worry, something's happening outside, but don't worry. Cindy is now microwaving herself. Um, it's cheaper than cooking the food. Microwave your stomach after you're eating it. And there, just by the toilet, is some of Cindy's love for me to pick up. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy, for leaving your love for me over at the toilet. Why can't I click on it? Oh, it's because I'm in the Cindy following camera. I can't click on it, but I also can't look away from her. Cindy. Cindy, your love. <laughs> I I just can't handle your love, Cindy. <laughs> the design, awesome. She loves this place now that it has two microwaves. And she, she uses the microwave very regularly. She loves the fridge in the middle. She loves the sort of zany design. And she really loves how many security cameras there are. Oh, this is gold. Pause time. Pause time. It's time to renegotiate the lease. And you can increase the rent based on how happy they are. She's so happy. Cindy. Cindy, let's talk about this. Oh, that's pretty low. Wait, that was low? <laughs> no, I completely misread your facial expressions, Cindy. You seem like the kind of gal that would absolutely love to pay even more rent. It's been a month, you know, insurance costs are going up and there's been inflation and all that. The rent is now $3,000. Let's talk about this, Cindy. Let's let's negotiate on this situation. What do you think about that? Do I have to, like, let time pass for her to think about it? <laughs> I'm going to let time pass for you. She comes back in. Ooh! Are you fucking... She comes back in. Stop time. She comes back in. With a way lower offer, even though our ha happiness is maxed out. Two, seven, seventy. R arbitrary number selected. What do you think about that? Let time pass. Let her think about it. Let there be time. She moved up. Okay. We're already in the money. She's already moved up to a higher price than what it was originally. We've won from here if she doesn't walk away. So we, we want to be careful here. We want to be careful. But we also want to milk Cindy fucking dry. Let's go down to, I was going to say 2,500. I kind of want her to get to 2,500. I will say like 2,560 and then go down to 2,500. That's my strategy. Okay, right. Go, go. Would she move up? She's really close. She's really close. Okay, I'll move it down 2,500 like that. Can I get her to take the 2,500? Yes, I can. You absolute idiot, Cindy. You idiot. You fool. You're the Zack sort of person that's destroying our society. 
You can't let the fucking landlords get away with this. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> now we're making even more money for some reason. I mean, this apartment is worth more, there's the love, than it was before because it has cameras watching you from every angle and that's, you know, that's a service. I need to go in the skill tree and work out that thing about numbers that are bigger than two. It's this thing, this thing. Unlock skill. There we go. We can get longer leases. What is that? There's some sort of, like, uh, poison gas currently shooting into the apartment. I was just trying to look at the skill tree. <laughs> Forget all the poison gas. The skill tree. The skill tree. We, we can unlock, like, a chef to come and cook for the tenant. Let's have that. Unlock a... Oh, my God. A monsieur comes in and gives them a sensual massage. Yes. Now that's landlording. I, I, I really realize what being a landlord is right now. What's happening in the apartment, by the way? There's, like, fucking trash. She puts, she's, like, piling up the pizza boxes on top of the money. Sorry, I was, look, I was doing something else, Cindy, wasn't it? So you've sent me loads of money. The heater stopped working. I'll f pay $400 dues to, to send a pro in to deal with the heating, all right? Especially since you're paying me $500 extra. So my, blah, 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 blah. Cindy is now a level three tenant. Increase the tenant's monthly rent permanently by 100. What? <laughs> You're doing so well, Cindy. You're so good at paying the rent that you've leveled up your rent-paying ability, allowing you to pay me more rent. And by allowing, I mean obligating, because it turns out it's up to me, and you can't do anything about it. Isn't being a tenant wonderful? So there you go, we, we leveled up our rent. We're starting to get some information about Cindy. She won't take part in roommate disputes. Amazing. And there's her love on the toilet again. Uh, oh, we're getting an achievement for getting the love. Watch this. Unfazed. Reduce penalty for failing to help them with issues. Oh my. She's such an amazing tenant. And she's a maxed out relationship with only the prol rancher. I'm literally the only person in her life. Cindy is mine in every sense right here. She's having quite a lot of fun. Absolutely no hygiene, a true gamer. I wonder if she'll ever ask about hygiene facilities. Do you, I mean, do you want anything? She's, she's really happy. 98% <coughs> happy, I'm dying. She's pretty happy with it, with, with nothing, no bedding, just sort of lying on her arm on an air mattress. It's been four weeks at least, or five weeks since, since she had a shower. Zero hygiene. It's going absolutely great. It kind of looks like she has green hair dye. No, her hair's just gone green. She just never cleans it. There's now a species of algae living on her body that makes her look green. And there's the love. It just keeps coming in. We're completing the research task. We've discovered that she likes shopping. Well, she is fucking rich, if I remember correctly. And she'll get even happier when she reaches level four. She can level up her ability to pay me rent even more. I can just get straight up like piles of cash off her. Very good. Okay. We are leveling up. We are le get up to level 20, where I can swap one of her traits for different traits. <laughs> I get to change her personality at my whim. That's just what being a landlord is. And at level 16... Tenant's happiness will never go below 50. So the meta is to get everything up to level 16 so all those rent things are stacked on top of each other and then delete everything so she's happy with nothing and will be forced to pay like a certain amount of rent for just nothing at all. You sell off everything and use the money to buy another house, I guess. Some Okay, we've got the plan with Cindy. I mean, I love you, Cindy. <laughs> Did I say all that out loud? Personality type! Gamer! Oh, she's so perfect. <laughs> She's a personality type gamer. She never has a shower. She's really rich. And she likes it when I play the trombone. It scratches her itch. And her house is burning down. And she's sending me a text about it. All right, I'll send in the electrician to deal with your fucking fuse box, Cindy. Oh, Cindy. Da -da 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 -da. She's the girl for me. I'll take that love, even you please. She's a gamer. Has a shower in five weeks. Oh, she's the perfect girl for me. We're gonna make her really happy. 
And then we'll sell off her possessions Cause it turns out they're all mine I can even change her mind Yeah You belong to me Cindy You owe me two thousand dollars Cindy And I'm talking monthly You're paying subscription fees To these sweet trombone licks And that's what being a landlord is all about Well, at least I got to see the part of the game where you have a tenant now So I'm pretty happy with that It wants me to do 15 other things up here She's so fun. She's so energetic. She needs the toilet so much. She's so hungry. And she's oh so stanky. Oh, she got that stank. <laughs> oh, the Cindy stank. Rolling down boring lane. <laughs> It's driving me insane Oh, it's getting filthy up in boring lane Who are you talking to, Cindy? You only know me Okay, she was ordering food I thought she might have been talking to somebody else Which would not be allowed You know what, Cindy? I love you so much I will buy you a vintage item She likes vintage items I don't even quite know what that means you can't renovate with signed tenants in the apartment. Oh, I'm not allowed to buy you more items. And she also is not allowed to buy items for herself. I, th it, this appears to be the case. I'm not quite sure how this works. For some reason, I decide like the specifics of what's in the apartment, including like where the drinks and where the bread should be placed. <laughs> but once the tenant's in, like no more like second guessing can happen. So that's as good as it's going to get. And she's really happy with it. She loves it. It doesn't need to get any better. She's playing VR golf. She doesn't have a PC, doesn't have fucking electricity, but she believes. She's a real gamer. She's a real gamer, Cindy. <laughs> she just believes. A real gamer don't need games to game. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying, Cindy. And you look so beautiful saying it with your green algal hair. Hi. <laughs> I think I love you, money, Cindy. <laughs> I love that you keep paying me, Cindy. And yeah, she keeps her money like, in, a, in a stash, in cash, underneath a pile of old pizza boxes because we would forgot to give her a bin, I guess. I don't know. This city doesn't, give, doesn't have like a garbage collection service because they spent all the public money subsidizing the landlords. <laughs> They're paying me $2,000 to... Uh, what text? What was this text? Right, Cindy. Sent you money, and once again, she threw an extra... Cindy voluntarily pays extra rent basically every month. Cindy, I don't... I, I really don't, Cindy, but okay. <laughs> I really don't. And you really, you really should not, okay. Oh, I'll never play the trombone again with people like you in my life, Cindy. How are things going down here? The toilet's... <laughs> toilet's up to something. Let's sit down here and have a quick look at the situation. <laughs> All right. Stop. stop. Sort of uh, pouring the water into her mouth. The water in this room is filling up pretty fast. Do you want to do something about that, Cindy? Maybe she'll text me about it soon. It's not flowing through the theoretical open door. Right, I've got an issue uh, just since I wanted to deal with it. You have, like, issues constantly, Cindy. Everything in this apartment's broken all the time. It's so underwater <laughs> right now. Look, she threw another pile of money on the floor, and the money got soaked. And now as the waters recede, revealing the bread, the money, the whiskey, Cindy thinks, ah, what a beautiful landlord I have, as she sits nearly in her bed on the very edge. She doesn't want to be hedonistic by using the whole air mattress, so she just perches very modestly on the edge. Cindy's a good person. Cindy's a good person indeed. A good person to have as a tenant, for sure. You can see, just about see here, the money stashed in the trash. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty. This game is propaganda. <laughs> this, this, like, if, if the average real tenant played this game, there would be a Maoist revolution instantly. <laughs>
<laughs> okay? Don't play the tenants. It's it's dangerously good. How do I stop looking at you, Cindy? Again, it's difficult. We've had another great time in the city. It really is snowing just over here. There, there's a Christmas house. Maybe we can do something with that. I don't know. We want someone to host the open house. That sounds really easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. If I take this job at Lost Creek Road... Cindy gives me 12 happiness and 15 ex Cin This is a favor for Cindy Archer. Cindy, I'll do you a favor. I'll host the open house as a favor. And by as a favor, I mean you owe me $2,000 <laughs> as usual. I end all of my sentences with, and now you owe me $2,000. And sometimes somebody like Cindy comes along who actually gives you the $2,000 just every time you say it. So can we, like, play these tenants off against each other? Do we take the- oh, this guy's a gamer! Get the gamer, get the gamer, get the gamer, uh, negotiate, like, the other person doesn't- doesn't get any other track. Uh, 120 days, um, <laughs> how much- she, he, he's pretty rich, just ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars, right, what do you think? Three thousand- ooh, it's already way higher than I expected this to go. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, I was joking about ten thousand dollars. Eight, 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 two, two, oh, eight, two, two, oh. He's so rich. Oh, he jumped up so far. We're about to fucking annihilate this guy. Okay, I will generously, I will generously reduce to like 7-4. I'm coming closer to you now. Yeah, he'll set that. What a fucking loser. Job well done. I knew I could count on you. And she, yeah, she gave me the money. Give, give me $2,000. We're open. I have to look at the job review. Is it players in here? No, that's something else. Review, right? Review. The Prawl Rancher is so good at sales, I would buy my apartment again. Agent the Prawl Rancher is one you can trust. Also, hi, Cindy Archer. Thanks for the recommendation. So Cindy hooked me up as to be an estate agent for somebody else, just a sort of one-off thing. And I got actually $3,000 for it because we absolutely obliterated that guy on his rental contract. And I'm getting a text coming in from Cindy about how she's paying me even more money than usual this month. I just can't, lich. I can't stop playing that there's some fucking, what's that, money? I just, I found 80 bucks on the street outside. There's some down here as well. There's just money. There's, there's, there's money all over this fucking town. Is there more? There's some money here. There's just, there's just money every, there's so much money in this town. This is the poorest rich slum I've ever seen. What's happening? What's this? What's that? I found a card of my uncle, Steve. <laughs> did, did he make that himself? <laughs> why is why is that? <laughs> Again, the tenants, it's so true to life. <laughs> That's the real immersion factor in the tenants. You you really feel like you're getting the landlording experience. Oh, oh okay, it froze for a second there, <laughs> just like in real life. Uh, but, but as the camera has now panned over to where some more money was. So you can actually scurry around the town, stealing lost handbags <laughs> in order to make some spare cash. I think what I'm going to do is put on the following camera on Cindy and speed up time. I want to see if it will show me where Cindy works. Like, does she live somewhere in the town? Kind of like, or works, sorry, somewhere in the town, like in Das Sims. Also, she's level four. She, uh, that probably doesn't do anything. She was already so happy. Yeah, like, she, she can't get more happiness. She wants a favor. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 Hey, I have a little favor to ask. I'm a bit short of cash this month. Could I pay you half the usual rent this week? You are not short of cash, Cindy. There's a huge pile of cash in the room you're in. I see it. I see you, Cindy. I always see you, Cindy. Yeah, you can pay half rent, Cindy. I was going to get mad at you, but then I remembered that I'm in love with you. Give, uh, give me the heart. Oh, you can't take the heart during the camera. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get it right next week. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll level up if you get it right. I have to come off the camera, take her love. Okay, you, you can't love her while following her around. Okay, right. Back into the camera mode. Speed up time. Let's see if she goes to work. Oh, she's going to work. <laughs> oh, she's going to work, Cindy. <laughs> Is this helping? It helps with the bowel movements if, if I play this, this trombone. <laughs> I just got back from medical school. <laughs> Extend lease. <laughs> that was amazing, pro honey. Can I extend my lease? Yes, you can, honey. 
It's getting real filthy. I'm having a great time playing the tenants, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> available now, <laughs> low, low price of whatever it is. Dis uh, disable. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, that, 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 shit! Throw my top hats at her. Take the love back, and here we go again. <laughs> Slums is leveling up. <laughs> this area of town is getting better and better. Every time I take a walk through the slums, I hear this this really filthy trombone solo. I love this city. <laughs> Do you, do you want to hear me play Chemical Plant from Sonic the Hedgehog 2? This guy's getting so filthy. <laughs> Can't hold it. More research. She likes sweets. Cool. Okay, can you go to work so I can see where you work, Sandy? Alright, <laughs> a little favour from me to you. Just want to see where you work. I just want to follow you to work. <laughs> oh, I've got a text as well. Who's that from? Oh, it's from Cindy. She sent me some cash. Oh, but this time she didn't give me a tip. Oh, did she leave? Oh, okay. It doesn't, like, follow them to work. Enter a... Enter a new name for your tenant. Cindy. Cindy Rancher. <laughs> no, I can't. Your, your new name is Cindy Rancher. We got married. It's canon. We got married. <laughs> Cool, cool. Sorted that out then. I have been making money <laughs> this whole time. I, as a trombone busker who's made about $15,000 over the last couple of months, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself. Whoa. What's she doing? What, what was that? Did she just... Did she just... Oh, she just threw a huge pile of money onto the ground. And once again, the room is on fire. I'm going to sort this out for, for you, Cindy. <laughs> just for you, Cindy. I'm sending in my uncle to uh, quote unquote clean why you're not home. Uncle, this this stupid dumbass tenant of mine leaves stacks of fucking cash all over the house. Break in while she's at work during the day and just take it. All right. Oh, but make sure you don't keep any of it for yourself because it's mine, uncle. OK, OK, uncle, it's mine. So we're going to just clean up all the cash. <laughs> Uh, because for some reason you're not allowed to change the furniture while there's mess in the house. Clean up the cash, uncle. Fucking slave labor is not very good, is it? <laughs> right. Clean it up. I've earned... Wait, do we actually keep the money? We actually get the money. You get $5,000? The... She... Ooh, she actually had five Gs on the fucking floor of our apartment and I just picked it up. What? No, no. What, what's, what's the problem? What is the problem? I'm taking your toilet, Cindy. <laughs> You're getting to be such a high-level tenant <coughs> that you don't even need a toilet anymore. <laughs> You're becoming so powerful, Cindy. I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. Was that the problem? Okay, now leave. Now maybe I can renovate the apartment. <laughs> I helped. Well, that was the goal. Remove requested furniture. Okay, begin the renovation. <laughs> what was it you wanted? Oh, you want loads of things, but, but without the toilet. The main problem with this bathroom is the toilet, but I would really love a doorman. <laughs> oh, I'll make the switch as a, as a gift to you. And the nice thing about this is, because, like, possessions in this world are owned by the landlord, you might think, oh, you're being so nice to the tenant, like, buying them possessions. No, I'm buying... Me, the possessions. I own them. When the tenant leaves, they don't get to take anything with them. I can still sell the possessions. I can still use them to increase the value of the, the apartment to the next tenant. This doesn't cost me any fucking thing, but the client will kind of feel like it does. This is such a huge win. This is how you should be a landlord. Do not let have the tenant. Don't let tenants have personal possessions, okay? Like, we have to get this very clear using the Marxist language, don't we? Because we have this idea of private property. The the apartment is private property because it is something that I can use to make money by virtue of somebody else's labor. That's quote-unquote private property. 
the toilet is personal property, quote unquote. It's just an item that belongs to a person, thus making it illegal for other people to use it or take it, okay? So we've got that distinction. And now we're going to merge them together. My, no, the tenant's quote unquote personal property shifts over to becoming my private property. It ceases to be items that you own. It becomes capital that I use to make money. You see, Cindy, you see, you fool. <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you a fucking drying rack. <laughs> All right. Where's Uncle Uncle Steve? Buy him a drying rack. Now that's my that's my hard day's work done. <laughs> finally, finally came up with an arrangement of the new bathroom. Look at all this stuff she wanted. She wanted the dryer, the sink, the shower, but we've got, we got the shower with the window on both side combo and the camera right there, yeah boy. We're done. Let's see what she thinks of this renovation. Leave, leave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's loving the changes and she's sending me some extra money as well. Absolutely amazing. And as I said, this is my shower now and there in the shower is the love. So don't you think I'm buying you a shower, Cindy? I bought me a shower. Because of course I can live in this apartment. I own it. I can just make her leave by throwing her out with that trumpet technique which it showed us in the first. There's something you do with a trumpet if you really want to get rid of your tenants. Oh, I don't know. I guess you could try and get richer tenants or something. But no, uh, Cindy is the one for me. Absolutely phenomenal. Phen phenomenal. And at last, she's going in the shower. Are we going to see that hygiene stat? Where's that hygiene stat? There it is. It's happening. She is getting, for the first time in whatever it's been, nine weeks, Cindy took a shower. <laughs> and we all watched. And everyone outside watched as well. Here's someone coming. You can take a look. Take a look. It's all good. It's all happening with Cindy Rancher in the Pearl Ranch. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen Cindy this clean. I kind of... You know, I kind of don't like her anymore. <laughs> now that she's taken a shower. I liked you more before, Cindy. You know, you were more of a gamer before. And what is this? You're taking a shower? You're getting a good night's sleep? What is this, Cindy? She's really pulling herself together. Oh, no. Oh, no. Random loot box. <laughs> there's, there's, there's loot boxes for landlords. <laughs> New government policy. Loot boxes for landlords. Why not? Why not? Government. Government. Loot boxes. For landlords, think about it. I have quite a lot of tenant, uh, landlord points now because things are going really well. Things are going really well. You know what? Let's finish this off by giving Cindy a massage. I don't care if you're asleep. Oh wait, but she she oh she left. <laughs> no, Cindy. <laughs> My hands are ready. Cindy, come back. I'm oiling up my hands, Cindy. There's the love. There's even more love. I'm getting so much self-love here in Cindy's apartment while she's at work. Oiling up my hands. Here we go. Service. Oh, she's... Monsieur. Make it happen. Get off the phone. I know you don't know anyone else except me. <laughs> don't pretend you have anyone to phone, okay? It's probably, again, because there's no food supply. I did get you a fridge. You could go shopping and put something in the fridge. <laughs> and use the phantom microwave if you want. It's sort of a, a real Blair Witch microwave. It sits in the corner facing the other direction. It's when it turns around. That's when the real problem is. So where's that masseuse I ordered? She's taking a seat at the welcome toilet. Here we go. The masseuse yeah. is here. Oh my god. <laughs> this does appear to be an earthquake. Oh, that actually was an earthquake. Survived through an earthquake. Okay, nothing better to get over the stress of there being an earthquake than a nice massage. And they found somewhere to set up the table right by the front door. This masseuse is not risking taking one more step into this property. Right, just set up by the fucking door. All right, you come to me, client. And then do, do the masseusing. Hopefully the masseuse will then be like, you know, courtesy of Prol Ranch. And yes, he, okay, she knows. She goes, thanks for the massage. I feel so much better. I think she already max liked me, so it doesn't count. Oh, what's this? You've got to help me. During the earthquake, the wall got damaged. I can <laughs> send uncle or I can pay money. I'll pay money. I'm not going to let uncle sort this shit out. Actually, no, is there any money on the floor in your apartment? 
Oh, oh my god, look at that trash over there. Yeah, there's no money on the floor. Okay, the, the, the apartment did actually get wrecked by that earthquake. Never mind. $350 is really cheap to fix this level of damage. There's, there's shit tons of damage. Okay, that's fine. We, got, we absolutely fleeced this construction worker. In this world, people who work for the landlords get paid nothing, whereas this fast food working gamers on 80k a year. I just, I can't stop playing. It just feels like something bullshit keeps happening <laughs> every two seconds. Look like it's going to cave in at any moment. Well, you know, <laughs> it's supposed to look like that. What's she doing now? She's got a microphone. I think she's singing to the fridge. <laughs> having an absolutely legendary one-person karaoke night. My tenancy has a tendency to cause me to give all my money to the pro rancher. I'm about to level up to level five. Gotta claim that reward. <laughs> I did it. I made it in the big city. I worked out how to pay more rent. Do do do. I don't have no choice. The landlord said that I'm level five, and I owe him $150. <laughs> and then he said, "Good, good, good, good." Some somehow things just keep getting better for the pro rancher. I'm literally doing nothing, and it, things are just getting better and better. And after an odd day's work, making sure the tenants are happy, we go and have a little sniff around town. There it is. Someone dropped their purse at a milk bar. Oh, it's a pro ranch, is he? Your $61 he dues are mine, my good friend. Yes. I've, my, my mind has been completely broken by the tenants. <laughs> no. This game shouldn't be allowed to exist. There's just no there's just no getting away from how good this is. Fishing. What? New game. What? What? There's there's no getting there's no getting away from how good this game is. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 I've sent you all the overdue money. Sorry for the delay. And threw in some extra. Ma ma oh ma. Well I was working pretty hard, so thanks for the extra cash. Wait, where's it gone? There's a fishing minigame. Fishing minigame! Fishing minigame, throw it up. Um, to Papa. Oh, 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 a bit more. Let it go a little bit. Let it go a little bit. No, it froze. His fucking phone. My phone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, 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 okay. We got it. I got a Northern Pike. Oh, yeah, boy. 25 points. 25 points. What was that text? What was that text about? Uh, it's all good here. I have ideas for improving. I want music stuff in the bedroom. <laughs> and free time. <laughs> See, if only I had music stuff and free time, you'd hear me on the radio. I'm not going to provide you with the free time because I'm not going to let you stop working because I want you to just keep giving me your money. And I think you will agree to that. Even if I don't do anything, Cindy. And don't you think you'll agree to that as well, Cindy? Because because you're experiencing something called economic coercion. You have to give me your money. Because you would actually be fucked if you stopped, wouldn't you, Cindy? You can't not pay me the rent because of the implication, Cindy. Basically, basically that, okay? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> and by that I mean I'll agree to anything you say because I love you. That's just the sort of landlord I am. I come in... I give you shit, but I also give you what you want. I'll give you some music equipment in your bedroom, knowing full well you'll never have the time to use it. And uh, we all win because of oh, that thing I mentioned earlier, where your personal property is my private property. I will eventually make money off your failed music career. You are to me, Cindy, just one income stream after another. And that's why I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>